Sooner Scoop HD. This week. How much did that help you, I guess, become more of a focus goal? Yeah, I feel like we opened it a lot more. We gave him a, a little spice, you know, this game. We, um, we were just focused on the run, the run. This game, we passed it a lot more. So uh, we got a lot of players involved today. Has it been frustrating staying patient through these first two games? Uh, any receiver would be frustrated not getting the ball, but as long as my players are making playmakers, and as long as we win it, I'm fine. Jeff and Levy said that, you know, it's like the ball just not happy to come yeah. your way. Is it just one of those things that you got to stay with it? It's just like practice. You know, some days you have good days, some days you have sure. bad. So. When you saw the ball in the air, you, you, you kind of realized it was a touchdown at that yeah, point. Yeah, I was excited. You know, I was glad he threw it my way. Uh, once I seen the uh, DB's alignment and how he was, uh, I knew it was a touchdown from the jump. Can you describe what that feels like? Uh, it's a great feeling, you know. I've been uh, waiting for this moment almost my whole life. So, you know, me being able to get my first time to touchdown today was a uh, feeling I couldn't even explain. Eric talked about there's a lot of uh, focus on that first drive in the second half. Yeah. No matter what the score. Did you feel the kind of the air come out from the other sideline? Uh, first drive, I feel like we could have came out a little stronger. Um, they came out ready to play. Uh, we need, we had a little talk and we had to step it up and we did. So. Did Dylan had wheels like that? I didn't know he had wheels like that. He caught me off guard when I was blocking. I was like, oh, snap, he's right behind me. So, yeah. <laughs> he had some wheels. Venables talked about controlling the volume, and then Jaron came out and said the same thing. Yeah. Guys have to control the volume. How much was that an emphasis this week in practice? Uh, since Monday, uh, we've been focused on it since coming in our hometown, uh, not worried about how, to, how loud the crowd is. We knew it was going to come into a big environment, so we just had to control the, the crowd. We had to control the sideline and keep them hushed the whole game, so that's what we did. What is it about the mentality now to break it down to the studs? I know that you guys talk about that a lot, but up with K-State coming in next week? Uh, just everybody having a mumba mentality, mumba mentality uh, just like Kobe Bryant said, um, just bringing out the intensity, coming out ready to play, uh, first play of the game. So. You've been around here a few years now, or at least a year and a half. What's the difference in this team compared to, or at least the atmosphere during the season compared to what you, you saw previously? Uh, first it starts with the coaches, and then it goes to the team captains on the team. Uh, I feel like this team, I've never been bonded as as close as I've ever been on a team before. Uh, even off the field, we always making sure each other's good, checking up on each other 24-7. Uh, it's just a, you just feel the energy in the room. It's like I play on a whole other team. Sooner Scoop HD.